If you haven't seen the latest video from the Motor Oil Geek or Lake Speed Jr., uh, I'm going to link his video down below. I just watched this video and it's quite interesting the testing results that he have come up with, but it also goes to prove that I wasn't far off on my base of recommending Valvoline oils. In their testing, what they did was they ran a, uh, on a dyno with these titanium coated uh, piston rings so they could wear for or they can measure for different wear and stuff like that. Um, and they did double flushes uh, between each oil to make sure that it wasn't uh, interacting with the ad pack from the previous oil. So they tested M's oil, OE Signature Series. Then they tested um, Royal Purple, full synthetic 5W30. And they also tested Napa, full synthetic 5W30. And um, Super Tech 5W30 from Walmart. Now, Napa gets their oil made by Valvoline. It's Valvoline oil. And obviously, AMS oil gets their base stock from somebody else, but then they add their own ad packs and blend and everything else to it, just like other people do. Same with Royal Purple, and same with Supertech. Uh, each one of them have different distributors. Warren Distributing for Supertech. Uh, Napa would be Valvoline, Royal Purple. I don't know where they get their base stock from, but it's one of maybe four places or something like that that they get it from and same with AMS oil I think it's uh, mobile either mobile makes their base stock or something like that um, but after all the testing and stuff was done with the wear metals uh, Napa Valvoline oil was the lowest metal count in the whole entire testing series and it Lake Speed basically explained it has a different or it's because of the type of MODTC uh, That they run the molly that they run in that is a um, Really good molly and it is really protecting the inside of that engine or the moving parts and stuff so as I've always said I have a few cost-effective oils and then expensive oils my cost-effective oils that you can pretty much find anywhere is the Pennzoil Platinum series or any of the Valvoline series. Now, the more expensive ones, my favorites are, my personal favorites are number one, Redline, full synthetic, the Ester Base oil, and also Schaefer Supreme 9000. But coming in third, I would say AMS oil is somewhere in there, just not my favorite. Um, Redline and Schaefer Supreme 9000 are my top two favorite money's not an object kind of oils and it's it was really interesting watching his video so i recommend that you guys click on the link down below and you go watch the video for yourself so you can see the testing that he does the, and support him the amount of work that he puts in, in in testing this stuff is it's really good so check it out i'm going to breakfast with my daughter i'll catch you guys later